comes the axe. Prove yourself. Spike coming up with a smoke. First spike hits. Oracle's in trouble. He doesn't have his face edict either way. Really, not much of a chance of him surviving right there. Good. The lion coming up with a smoke. Her spy kits. Oracle's in trouble. He doesn't have his fate edict either way. Really, not much of a chance of him surviving right there. Good. Phantom Lancer Dazzle, I suppose. No, not top. really. Dazzle? Uh, I actually could. Shadow Wave Illusion. Yeah, maybe, but right now Dazzle's just worrying about staying alive, and it's not easy to do. I'll bench a lot of attack hits and gets the kill. Lion TP's in. Her spike, again, only level one, though, so. Actually, it is level two, but he. <laughs> Goes to show you again, these earlier levels, not the strongest, but Earthshaker might be dead here. A bottle charge from Isle, but it's not enough. He actually doesn't have his overcharge yet, so he can heal him up, but without the overcharge, double obviously damage. not mitigating damage onto him. Yeah, he did have a stick available, so I'm a little curious why he didn't use that to save Earthshaker. Well, but... at full life, he can't. That, that's the problem with not having overcharge, oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't being hit at all. Yeah, okay. so that that's really why he wasn't healing up at all. That's yeah, I like it. And uh, just an insane amount of heal from all of them. Oh, he's dead, though. Okay, it's talking about insane amount of heal. It's hitting him damage there. Got a smoke to do so, so helping a little bit, I suppose. Meanwhile, up here, Dazzle. He's going to get caught out. Fortune's in to root him in place, and that's a that's a much better route. Completely blocking his path with the Fissure Stun. Shallow Grave will just delay things, of course. And he thought he had the auto attack timed right, but had to do another one. Probably going to rotate over, but you saw the Fates Edict. Now they blasted nothing. And yeah, catch this, uh, this Oracle pick is very good against Pugna. Back to four. And he is in trouble. Probably dead. Yeah. Just saw them another blast, do a little bit of damage, but he goes down. And yeah, I remember a couple of times earlier on, you know, when Alliance was looking pretty good in the earlier stages. And he did it mainly with the idea that, yeah, he got some great farm early on. Uh, by the way, oh my god, Pugna just exploded here in the middle lane. Speaking of that Echo Slam, you have uh, Nada coming in on Phantom Lancer. He's focusing the aisle, but of course the relocate out. We'll get them both out of there. Kunkka holding his ground now himself. Throws out an X, but there's just too many heroes here. All of a sudden, Lion shows up. There's Spike connects. He is tanky, the double bracer in the power treads, but not tanky enough. Give him some problems and allowing him to potentially dodge stuff like Kunkka. Relocate bottom lane. Our shaker's here. Who's that TP now? It's Lion. He gets out, but Pugna just explodes. Yeah. That's an Invis for No Shadow Blade yet, but. He is going to catch oh. the Dazzle. He pops Morphling out. is doomed. Morphling doomed off to the side. So that's uh, their net worth is, is gone. They actually have these same exact items, don't they? Oh, no, Morbid Mask on Morphling. So a little bit different. Oh, speaking of doom in that Vanguard, there's a way for four to the biggest person with the Adaptive Strike. Shadow Grave will save for the time being. So good use of it right there. Lowe's wants this kill, though. And the Earth Spike from Ritsu as he transformed into the light. It's a kill, though. but Io is dead. So yeah, more. That's the Echo Slam, by the way, but the Doom is up on Morphling. Yeah, he is shifting the strength. Here comes the save from Kit Rat Calvary. Throws out the False Promise. Gonna start spamming those heals. Nice root on top of that on the two heroes. A Morphling, not full life necessarily, but he will come out surviving at about half life for the time being. Now the turn. Kanka comes out with a ghost shift. They land on the Pugna, and Pugna is dead. Urshiker again still has the Echo Slam. Not finding the chance to use it just yet, but may here eventually. Doom, honestly, it's probably not even necessary, actually. Doom's definitely dead right here as well. So they thought they had a chance to get the big going. The invisibility, right? The false promise. Or no, that's a talent. Oh, no, I was going to say, I don't think. Oh, it does something to purifying flames. I'm actually oh, sure. it makes it a one second cooldown on purifying flames. Oh, okay. It's already 2.2. He's just going to simply go for the TP. Echo gets the hit. Yeah, that was a bold attempt right there from Nada. I suppose he didn't have much of a choice. So nice job with the purge. Can he make another juke? Two more Radiant seconds. Doppelganger. If he can lead them in another direction, we'll see. Can they guess right? He's going over. Nope. Laposa just smacks his face to the ground. All the doppels. Doom. Morphling Dooms. Uh, morphs it to Doom even. Decrepify trying to help save Doom. And actually, the Shallow Grave does come out. So Valkyrie will live for the time being. But Heavy Slows and being oh pulled right God. back in. So Morphing much to stay. Really keep up. And I think that might be the most important thing, is keeping up with this very, very mobile lineup they have with the Earthshaker. That Decrepify saved him initially, but then now can the Echo Slam up with the Shallow Grave. Buying time for that. Purifying Flames on Earthshaker, so they're saving one another, but finally they get the kill onto Phantom Lancer. They pull him right back in again with the X marks the spot. Now Doom. Well, we see it again. Ritsu, he morphs into Doom. Using himself against him. Easy kill for the Morphling. 
Meantime, Fisher hits. Blink in from Lillis. He's going to make him pay for counterwarding all the shallow grave. It's him alive for now. In comes Oracle. It's the root. Running after him. More fling in the flank. Got in here with the relocate. They pull back Dazzle. They get both the supports killed. Dazzle does have a buyback. Probably going to see that come out of the Echo Slam on two heroes. Not the biggest Echo Slam of the century.